everyone, a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we have covered what is merge, join, and concat method in our pandas. In our today's session, we will be talking about how we can compare data frames. Now, what is comparison over here? Suppose if you have a data, and after a year, after the span of a year, the data has been changed, or after a month, the data has been changed. So, if you want to compare that, what changes have happened in a one month? For example, if there is a restaurant, okay, there is a uh, newly set up restaurant. and you have a data of how many customers are coming every day okay now you have a data of one month and then you have a data of second month over here and if you want to make comparison over here like what all changes have happened how how many people who are male who are coming over here how many more people who are female are coming over here or what kind of age group is coming at the restaurant so all these things if you want to compare all these things in the two files then for that we use a compare method over here let's have a look on how to use a compare method in our pandas to use the compare method first of all let's import pandas as pd once we have imported pandas we need to create a data frame over here so i am taking an example of a grocery store so i'll be creating a dictionary whose name is grocery okay here i'll be creating keys uh, so my first key is going to be fruits Okay, there are different fruits over here. Uh, so let's say the first one is apple. The second one over here is banana. The third one over here is mango. And then we have let's say papaya. Okay. Similarly, the second thing over here would be the price. So for price, I'll be creating another key, and the value would be let's say the apple's price is hundred and forty. Banana's price is somewhere around eighty. The price of mango is one fifty. and the price of papaya is somewhere around 100 okay this is the data of one month i'm just taking random any data over here and after this we have quantity that in in how much quantity in how much quantity it is available next thing over here that i'm taking is quantity that in how much quantity it is available so i'll be writing quantity colon in the square brackets i'll pass the quantity that uh, apples are bulk in quantity so we'll we'll take 8 that eight boxes of apple banana also um let's say eight boxes um, the mango over here man the man the season of mango is going so we only have like three or four of them so i'll just keep three and the papaya uh, papaya also we have four boxes of papaya okay so this is my dictionary and if i want to create a data frame i'll be creating df is equals to pd dot data frame and here i'll be passing grocery let's print it as well by writing print df As soon as I run it, the output over here would look like this. So we have a zero, one, two, three. We have fruits. Uh, we have prices and their quantities like this. So this is my data frame one. So let's call it DF one. Okay. And over here also I'll be writing DF one. Now what we to, to compare the two values, we need two data frames as well. Like if we want to compare two files or two data frames, we need the second data frame as well. So DF two would be the copy of DF one. So here, what I'll be doing, I'll be writing that df2 is equals to df1 dot copy and open close the parentheses. If I print df2 here, let's have a look on how df2 looks like. Let's give a space of one line as well in between. So I'll just give a space of one line. Now let's run and see. So you will now notice that both of them has the same data over here, but uh, this this data of df1 is a data of first month. This day, uh, this data of DF two is the data of second month. Or let's not talk about month also, because in a grocery store every day the, because in a grocery store every day the fruits are sold, right? So over here, let's talk about day one and day two. So this one, uh, this is the data of day one, and let's uh, let's talk about the data of day two. So I'm making some changes in the data of day two. For that, I'll be writing over here that DF two dot location in the square bracket that on zero location, let's say the app, uh, the price of apple has changed. And the quantity of apple has also changed over here. Okay, so we'll talk about first of all price. So I'll be putting price, and price should come in the capital over here. Is equals to. So what is the new price? So as of now it's one forty. After one day, let's say it's one thirty. Okay. Similarly, we'll be talking about its quantity. So I'll be writing df two dot location in the square bracket uh, at the zero index. I'll be talking about quantity. So in the quantity, what will change over here? So right now, uh, previously we had eight of them. Now we have ten boxes of apples. Okay. After this, we'll be talking about let's say banana, or let's uh, let's leave banana. Bananas are the same. That we the weight is the same and the quantity is the same. Let's talk about mango. Okay. So df two dot location location would be in this case this uh, mango is on location number two over here. That means on index number two. So we'll be writing two here. So two. Comma and we'll be changing its price. 
So I'll be writing price here and price would be equal to. So previously the price was let's say 150. Now the price have increased because the season is going and people still want to buy it. So let's say the price are increasing and then we have quantity for quantity again. I'll just copy this data from here and quickly write it. But we'll go for location number two and the quantity over here. So previously we had three boxes of it, but now we have, let's say, four boxes of it. Similarly, let's talk about papaya, the price of papaya. For that, we have location as three and the price previously was 100. Now it has been decreased to 95 and over here, we'll be changing its quantity as well. So I'll just copy it and paste it here. And let's keep the quantity as same. Okay. Let's not change the quantity. Let's keep the quantity as same over here. Okay. Now what we'll be doing, we have, we have seen that there is, uh, there are changes in price. We have quantity, price, quantity. Okay. And let's change the quantity as well for papaya. So previously there were four boxes. Now let's say there are three boxes of it. So at location three, I'll be writing three boxes of papaya. Okay. Now let's print the DF2. So let's print DF2 and let's put a uh, comment over here so now this is my new data frame so previous data frame looked like this that where we had price quantity price quantity the prices have changed over here and the quantities have also changed over here but still making the comparison like uh, one data is on the above one data is at the below so still making the comparison over here is quite difficult now how to compare over here so here our compare method will come in action let's have a look on how we can apply the compare method over here applying the comparing compare method we will simply write df1 dot compare df2 and let's print it so print and let's close it as well as soon as i run it let's see what output we'll get so self other self other now what is this self other and self other let me just put this uh let me just put a space of one line in between so i'll be writing price open close the parentheses and if i run it okay so now this is price self means this is the old price other means this is the new price again in the quantity self means this is the previous price other means this is the new price over here so this is how you can show the data over here that self over here means the previous one that means the previous data other over here means that is the second data so data of first day and this is the data of second day so now we can see the comparison over here is much more easier and on which index is on 0 2 and 3 so this is how a compare method works where we can see the comparison inside one data frame and here a self and other columns have been created for both price and the quantity similarly you can write the alignment axis over here so i can write over here alignment axis is equals to let's keep it zero and if i run it this is how it looks like now self other would come like this so previously it was like we had 0 1 2 and in front of that we had self other self other columns now we have self as a row over here like the rows over here are in the rows over here are zero in the in the zero we have self and other then we have index number two where we have self and other then we have index number three we have self and other and these are the price and the quantity of each indexes over here so you can define the alignment as well similarly there are other other functions that we can apply for example we have keep shape is equals to true and as soon as i run it let's see how our output looks like so here wherever we have similar values wherever the quantities have not changed in the previous data in the existing data there we have none values that means wherever everything is same here uh, in self and other everything is same that means here it will be apple banana mango papaya in other also it will be apple banana mango papaya and for bananas we have not changed any data so that's why bananas data is not coming over here otherwise the whole shape of the data frame is here in the format of self and other similarly if i put it false it would look like how it basically looks like so the uh, if i put it false it will be the default value over here which is which is how it basically looks like similarly we have another thing that is called as keep equal so i'll just write keep underscore equal let's keep this as a true as well and as soon as i run it this is how it looks like so keep equal will give us all the values that has changed over here that means 140 130 150 160 195 that means bananas values have not changed so but it won't give us the bananas value and similarly if i keep it as false and run it it would give us the value in the boolean so let's keep this as true and also let's keep keep shape as true and let's see what data we will receive so as soon as we run it now we will receive the whole data whether the changes have been made or the changes have not been made so we have the whole shape plus we have all the values in the format of an integer so here, here we have apple apple apple's cost was 140 previously now it is 130 banana banana over here banana's cost was 80 now it is still 80 
then mango mango's cost was 150 now it is 160 papaya's cost was 100 now it is 95 previously they were available in eight boxes now 10 then eight then eight then three then four and then four and then three so this is how we can compare the data basically in our pandas i hope this is clear that how we can compare the data and what all extra functions that we have over here and you have no doubts and no questions in our next session we are going to talk about pivoting and melting of data frames so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you